A dangerous wildfire then whipped up northwest of Los Angeles yesterday evening has now consumed more than 70 square miles. More than 2,500 homes are evacuated. It's just one of two major wildfires burning as Santa Ana winds scour that region. CBS's Chris Martinez is in Ventura. Firefighters battled raging flames just inches away from homes in Ventura County. The wind whip blaze broke out Monday, rapidly igniting vegetation that fire officials say hasn't burned in decades. I've lived in Ventura most of my life and I've never seen anything like this. It just brings tears to my eyes. Desperate homeowners used garden hoses to help save their property. This is my mom and dad's house. Awesome. They lived here for uh, seven generations. But many battles are being lost. Good friends up the street lost their homes, and I'm just so sad for them. Flames devoured dozens of homes and businesses, and thousands more are threatened. Evacuation orders are in place for nearly 8,000 homes. Our biggest areas of concern right now are the city of Ventura with structure protection, and also as the wind picks up, still the cities of Santa Paula and Upper Ojai. Shifting winds are making it very difficult for firefighters to gain the upper hand. On this street alone, a number of homes have burned. <laughs> Helicopters are being used to douse the flames, while firefighters from neighboring counties are being brought in to help. But officials say weather conditions are not favorable. The forecast calls for high winds and low humidity throughout the week. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Ventura County, California. Oh, those winds are nasty, and that'll do it every time. Meteorologist Ashton Altieri is in Colorado's weather center right now, and very dangerous in California, Ashton. Yeah, we want to talk about the weather setup that's just contributing uh, to the growth of the wildfire there in Southern California. So the jet stream's moving directly over Colorado from north to south. This is what's going to keep active weather here through Thursday. It's going to get windy and quite chilly again around here tomorrow with that jet or over top of us. We'll talk more about that coming up. But out to the west of the jet, there's a big ridge of high pressure near San Francisco and Sacramento. And the clockwise flow around that high is what is producing the Santa Ana winds here in Southern California that again is contributing to uh, this wildfire, the Thomas fires, they call it 45,000 acres and 150 structures burned at this point. These Santa Ana winds will continue to peak between 60 and 80 miles per hour through today, tomorrow and Thursday. Alan, it's going to be a couple of days before firefighters can say that the weather is actually uh, helping their firefighting effort versus hurting it. Mm -hmm.